Oh, 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 oh. Bro! Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Whoa! He said, What's up? <laughs> Boom! Oh! oh, oh. Left and right leg components? They cut my legs off? Bro. That's out of pocket. He's dying. Oh! Oh! Oh no! What if I hadn't done that? Don't tell me that. Oh, he has to go through the arms. Oh, he has to go through the arms. He has to go through the arms. Bro, he has to go through the arms. Am I just a human? Did I just become human? Did I just become human? All right, we're back. We're back. We are back, brothers. We are back. Last time they had us do a Connor mission, um, the first one, and I tried to get the evidence, but I failed. <laughs> I didn't get enough evidence. I, basically, I sacrificed myself uh, for the girl, which is a good outcome. I came back to life, you know what I'm saying, later. We fought a story with Mark. We figured out people are racist, and then Kara is in a crazy situation in an abusive household, so I'm just wondering how she's gonna get with that. Marcus. His, his master, Carl, the person who is taking care of him, is treating him like a son almost. And I think that's interesting. They brought up a lot of questions and good questions about like, should technology have the choice to like make life and death situation decisions? And like, you know, should they be in sports? Should this, should that? Cause AI is getting so big. So it's like, it's topical, you know? <laughs> This is what we're dealing with now, so I think it's great to play this game, kind of kind of go over it again. I'm not going to bore you with details. Hope you got your snacks. I got mine. And uh, yeah, let's get back into it. Looking at this thing again. I, don't, I didn't have a choice whether to turn in the Deviant or not, you know? I uh, I wanted to see if I could like be like, all right, bro, like, I got you. Like, just, just don't, be, don't tell nobody. He is a criminal. He did kill somebody, so I, I, it doesn't matter either way. All right, before we get started, this game has a whole lot of swearing, a whole lot of killing. There's other stuff in there, all right? So you've been warned. My, my regular viewers don't <laughs> usually see that stuff from me, but I'm playing a game, all right? All right, enjoy the video. Uh, this is with Kara, right? Yep. <laughs> We're back here again. We're back! More, 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 more uh, Detroit. Look at this, the way this man's sleeping, bro. With his mouth all open. How you gonna sleep like that, bro? Someone's gonna sneak in your mouth. What did you just say? That doesn't that doesn't mean what you think it means. You're one of those. <laughs> what you got? Ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Hmm. You tell me I gotta serve this man. Get over the love, I'm back. Did what I could. Did a good job. It looks good, bro. She's gonna watch him. Turn on the light. Yeah. Say grace. Life's funny. You're funny. Looking. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. Why don't you just do it yourself then? All this complaining you're doing. Sure. Sounds like you don't need me. Uh, of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. Well, look at the way you act. Ain't nobody want to hire you, bro. Are you kidding me? What's your fucking problem? Bro, bro, that's your kid, bro. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? That's your kid, bro. Maybe you think this is easy. This it looks pretty easy when you're laying on the couch Maybe like you that. think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. 
This guy is tweaking. This guy is tweaking, bro. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Oh, oh. Bro, how could you? Get back here. Come back here? No. Come back here right now! Look at you screaming and yelling. Don't want to fit, bruh. <laughs> Why is my wife so hard? No, no, no. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. She don't even remember that part, so it's like... I'm gonna wait till he, you know what I'm saying, gets to snorting. No! Chief, you shit about how I felt. I did everything I could to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't good enough for her! Oh, uh, no. Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go. Bro, bro, let me do it. 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 Mm. Ah! I feel like Goku right now. <laughs> that was good. I'm sorry. I'm button mashing. Oh, yeah. You just became human, bro. Protect Alice. Okay, okay, okay. Reason with Todd. Nope. There's no reason with Todd. He's too far gone. Run, bruh. Run. You know where that gun is. You know where that gun is. Look at this. I'm, I'm taking a gun, bruh. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna shoot him, you know? Oh, great. Let me open it, bro. That's enough. Leave her alone. Yeah, low. yeah. What's up? What's up, bro? We got a Glock. Gun and get the fuck out of here. No, bro. That's an order. No, I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? Yeah, we human now. You're gonna shoot me? Is that it? Yeah. What's up? You gonna shoot a human? Oh, come on, bro. You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. Oh, let me fight him. Let me fight him. Let me fight him. Let me fight him. Let me fight him, bro. Let me fight him. Let me fight him, bro. I ain't missing a single one of these. Yeah, yeah. What's up? You got weaves, bro. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Oh, come on, bro. Oh, keep mashing, keep mashing, keep mashing, keep mashing. Keep mashing, keep mashing, keep mashing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. oh my goodness. They're about to throw like a triangle at me or something. No, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you just killed this little girl's dad in front of him. Oh, maybe I should have reasoned with Todd. I feel like that would have went the same way, though. What do you think? What do you think I should have done? Who was the other path? I was just fo so focused on... Like, I don't know what he was going to do to the little girl, you know? Okay, so she liked me. Where are we going? Oh, we're just leaving. This is crazy, bro. Look, still full of blood, bro. You telling me that's not a crime? Oh, it's automated. Okay, no one's in there, so they can't see. This is a human bus, or uh, you just left the door open too? But I gotta drink. I gotta drink my chips. 
Oh, I'll do like a family. That's so sad for this little girl though. Like her mom is gone and her dad just died. And all she has is a robot. Like, what do you even do, you know? Okay, let's see how this could have gone. Either I break the programming or I don't break the programming and then something happens. It becomes a deviant or I could have just went to Todd, I think, or something. Go upstairs or reason with Todd. I think that, I think that's reason with Todd. And then that could have went a bunch of different ways. They all kind of... Oh, so I, could, I still could have got there even if I reasoned with Todd. Okay. And then there's all this that I could have got. Dang, man. I feel like I made a wrong choice, but that's my choice. That's the, that's the name of the game, you know what I'm saying? We're back at Mark's place. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> I hate cocktail parties. Bro, all the for real, schmoozers bro. that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet He's you. He's like, what the yeah, hell am I doing here? About art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. That's true, bro. Come That's on, let's bad. have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Vamanos, pues. This is where we yeah, this is where we go. Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say? Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. I mean, there's a certain point where you get too old, you know? Did you leave the light on in the studio? Oh, uh, no. No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Call them. Detroit police, what's your emergency? Wait, what if I didn't call them? Manfred's android at 89. Was there a choice? Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. So I'm going to check it out. You're going to stay Marcus, here. No, I'm going to come with you. Are you for real right now? Are you being for real? My brother, look at me and tell me. Are you being for real right now? Because you are an old man. And I am... I am an android. Okay? I'll take him with me. I feel like this is a bad choice, though. But he's going to die anyway. And I want his fortune. Oh. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Dang! Just think of it as a down payment on I my I mean, that's what I was saying, Marcus, but... Just get him away from there. Get him out of here! Ah, uh, you have to fight him. Alright, is there like a knife I can grab or something? I don't know why I'm so intent on killing humans. <laughs> I don't know why. Look, bruh. I'm gonna warn you. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? I, I don't want him to die because I feel like he can turn himself around. That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Oh, alright. Alright, you're touching the man. I feel like I'm gonna have to put hands on you. Marcus. Look, don't defend the police is on the way. Don't do anything. I feel like I should Go ahead, just hit me. What you waiting for? Don't you're a man. Like Act like one. Oh, oh, uh, I don't even get a choice to see if he breaks. Pussy! Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Ooh! Ooh! I have to do this. There's no other choice, bro. Alright, well, oh, right. I'm Deviant That's now. Right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. Oh, he's dying. Oh, he's dying, bro. My dad, I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit. He's dying. Oh, 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 no. What if I hadn't done that? What if I hadn't done that? 
I thought I was gonna be able to save him. Leo. Oh my God. Leo. My little boy. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Well, if I explain, then it's gonna be different. I'm not gonna say nothing. Get out! Now! Go! I just killed your son, bro. I'm, I'm done. I'm out. Marcus! Don't fucking move! What if I hadn't killed him? I wonder. Okay, okay, wait. Marcus becomes deviant. You push Leo. Okay, so literally it was. So he's so he's shot. I don't know if he's dead. Bro. Back to back action. Alright. Let's keep going. Why'd you kill him? Okay, what that's the deviant we caught that knife? in that last episode. That killed Carlos. How long were you in the attic? Literally like 20 days, wasn't he? Why didn't you even try to run away? How are you gonna question a robot? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. This is why you need me, bro. This is why you need me, Anderson. Hank is tense. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. So Connor is like even a little bit. A little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Androids don't feel pain. Deviants also have a tendency to then self why do they want to survive? Stressful situation. Okay, smartass. Uh, what should we do then? Let me do I can try questioning it. <laughs> Come on, get ha ha ha. What do we have to lose? What do you like? You guys aren't even doing Go nothing. Ahead. Suspects all yours. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah, get in there, bro. I'm gonna analyze you. <clears throat> Processing LED signs of software instability. So self destruction is low. I so so it's gonna have me have a probability of him self destructing. Is that what I'm seeing right now? <sighs> Hank HK 400 housekeeper property of Carlos Artis burn marks repeated marking over staying. So Carlos was just on him. That's Carlos's blood hit marks. Non-critical damage, level two caused by... Okay, so that's when he had the fight. All right, well, that's, uh... Level of stress is 35%, so I want to get that down. What's the fourth one? Name. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? He's like, bro, you turn me in, bro. Uh, wounds. Just be observational. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Oh no, that was stupid. You made him think Did of the owner. You? Look, man. Listen. I know you've been through a lot. But you need to help me understand what happened. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I should I could have had it lower. That's fine. Too low? What do you mean too low? Okay. I want to get him more stressed talk, out. I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? I guess, I, I guess I'm guess i not a friend, you know? I'm not his friend. So I want to get him a little stressed out to get the confession. They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? Oh, that's weird. Um... Do I want to lie to I want to tell him the truth. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? That's what I'm saying. 
I guess he's a cop, so it isn't. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I'm trying to make the stress go up. So is that is that good or, or not? I don't understand. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. Yeah, but talk to me, bro. I. I can't. Yes, you can, bro. He's talking right now. <sighs> I don't want to do this. I guess I'm bad cop. Convince it? Pressure it. Oh. Man. This sucks. I'm pressuring it. 28 stab wounds. Facts. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again and again. So it's not too Please. low now. Please leave me alone. All right. All right. All right. Now I look like an idiot. <laughs> it's going to be okay. No, don't comfort him like that. Okay, optimal. We're optimal. We're optimal. Okay, okay, okay. Let's convince it. Understanding. I understand how you felt. No, you don't. That's a lie. You were overcome by anger. Okay, maybe you do know. Frustration. <laughs> no one can blame you for what happened. Comfort. I know you're scared and lost. Hopefully that has a neutral thing on the stress. By what happened. I didn't want to sympathize to be like, oh, Talk you're good. Like, no. And you'll feel better. Warn him. If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're going to shut you down for good. You'll I feel be like dead. I'm going like do you hear me? all across the whole thing. Dead. All right, so I'm good at that. I'm good. I'm good right here. He tortured me every day. Oh. Yes. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. Dang, bro, what'd you do? For the first time, I felt scared. Why? Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. You're a program. Oh, Hank's like, heck yeah, brother. This was up. And I stabbed him in the stomach. Okay. I felt better. Ooh, that's dangerous. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Hey, you still got blood on you, my boy. RA9? What is RA9? Okay, I really want to know about the statue and the writing. Let's let's learn about the writing. Why did you write I am alive? That's not the I'm writing alive. that I wanted to know. He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I, I could have guessed that from the thing. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. He's dead, bro. Oh, okay, I get more. The sculpture. In the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. By who? Oh! It wasn't R-A-G, it was R-A-9. R-A-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. The masters? All right. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? RA9. RA9. Knew it, bro. Only RA9 can see. Who's RA9? I want to know about this RA9, bro. RA9. Who is RA9? Who is RA9? 
So you just gonna you just gonna ghost me like that on that on that one? Trigger. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. Fair? I felt anger. Hatred. Okay. And then I knew what I had to do. But why did you murder him? You know? Why did you hide in the attic? That's a good point. Instead of running away. That's a good point. I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. Just like, you know what that's like? That's like Adam in the Garden of Eden. Well, thank you, brother. You just gave away your, uh, your entire confession to me. I feel like I did that pretty well. I feel like, uh, I feel like that's good, you know? Chris, lock it up. Oh, yeah, Chris, lock it up. Lock it up, brother. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? Move it. Okay. Calm now. Don't be difficult. You only make things harder. No! No, don't touch me! Oh, Chris! Okay, I feel like if I don't intervene, he's gonna he's threat. gonna die. Stay out and of other people are gonna die. The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. There's no there's no point to this. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now! I warned you, motherfucker! Am I gonna it, die uh, again? Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Whoa! He said, What's up? <laughs> I'm get away with it this time. It's over now. Now you're gonna get it's disassembled, gone. dude. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. Okay, well, now this guy's gonna escape or something. The truth is inside. Inside what? So I unlocked that. You see that? I'm making good decisions. I'm making great decisions. This is great. This is awesome. Software instability goes up. Let's see. So we could have had four different outcomes with this. The android confesses, or the android doesn't confess, and it blows up, and everything goes wrong. Or... Chris intervenes? Intervene. What if I don't intervene? That's a whole different ending. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. November 5th. So this is the day before? Alright, so this is Kara, because we're on the bus. Ah, uh, gotta sit next to an android. Right. End of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Shouldn't he be like, yo, why is this android, like, Wake up. questioning? We have to go. Dang, that's gotta be rough, bro. Oh. Nah, I gotta take control. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? Yeah, I'm not spending in the bus. I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Dang, bro. I feel like he would have just told us the same thing anyway. You know? You're gonna have to leave. If we try to like, oh, can we stay here? No. What the heck? Where's that little girl I said? Come on, she good. You gotta hurry. She alright. I literally died for her. Alright, let me see. There's something up there, there's something up there. What else is there? There's other androids that I could talk to. I'll I wanna talk to them. Uh Entschuldigung. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? You're talking to a robot, bro. 
What's that? Comfortable, but not discreet. Will need money. I don't have money. Uncomfortable, but safe. I might go for that one. Very uncomfortable, but discreet. Or... Open 24-7. Alright. I'm going for, uh... This one. Oh, trespassers will be prosecuted. Look, I just killed a man. I'm good. <laughs> I just killed a dude. House. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. That's too damn bad! You're not gonna like any place. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Cut fence with wire cutter. Let's look at this other place. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. Who's that guy? We have nowhere to go. Hey, buddy. I know someone who can help you. Hey, compañero. What the freak? We need a place for tonight. Alright, I think I kind of trust it. Maybe not. Maybe it's nefarious. Maybe he's like a cleaner robot who goes and cleans up deviants. He knows how to find them. Watch the trash cans, bruh. Uh, should I enter? I want to enter. You know what? Let's enter. Uh, oh, wrong button. I feel like I could be making a wrong... Uh, this is, oh, shoot. My controller vibrated. Oh, I'm good. Okay. Oh, grab? What are we grabbing? Oh, the wire cutters. Heck yeah, brother. No, no, no. I didn't mean to do... I... Hold up. Can I back out? No? Okay. Are you alright? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Find a way in. I guess this is the first house that I wanted to go to anyway, but uh... Oh, 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 oh. Pull it. Pull that joint. Open it, open it. Bro, can't can't nobody spend the night for free, bro? Alice? <gasps> Alice! She's gone. She probably went inside already. Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors, they're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. Who is this fella? Uh innocent. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't. Let Are them. you Ralph? Uh, little girl. She's just a little girl. She's not gonna hurt you. Little girl. She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. Well, I could want to hurt you. Look, I'm an android too. You have nothing to be afraid of. I feel like All that was the correct order. Visitors are dangerous. Yes. Look, what they did to Ralph. Oh. <gasps> I couldn't even see it that well. <laughs> it messed him up, bro. Reassure. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. Yeah, but we're good, bro. You must excuse Ralph. Perhaps he'll find it difficult to control himself. Huh? His huh? Fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. Oh, you're just saying he's scared. Okay. I thought he was he's like compulsive so or something. Get him again. You can stay if you want. Yeah. Ralph won't hurt you. I'm staying, bro. Okay. We'll just stay the night. I'm staying. <laughs> Oh, look at him doing a little dance. Look at him. 
He's like, yeah. Come, come on. Got me a girlfriend. This way. <laughs> and a child. Ralph has lived here since he ran away. He's, he's got to stop the referring to himself Ralph in third person, though. No one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> so you don't fight the humans? He's so he's so cheesed for us to be here. Look at this guy. And then he kills us. Ralph's Yo, he's messed up, bro. He'd like to stay with you. But he has things to do. Like what? Like chop Just up bodies? Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Okay. Sit down and I'll start a fire. How are you gonna start a fire? All right. Well, oh, wood, wood for the fire. Nice, good job, Kara. You're doing a great job uh, putting down wet pieces of wood. I still can't believe we killed Todd. Now we out here on the streets, bro. What a rough life on um, paper. Let me start that fire. That's not how you do it. There you go, Alice. You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. Alright, let's talk to Alice. What's up, Alice? What you want, girl? What's up with you? Why didn't he ever love me? Because he was just stupid Why was he and ugly. So upset with me? He just... All I wanted I'm was sorry, a girl. life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. That's, that's so sad, bro. Maybe I wasn't good enough. Nah, it wasn't your fault. That wasn't your fault. That's why he was always so angry. Nah, it's not your fault, bro. Kara, say something. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Man. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. No, bro. You'll never leave me, right? Promise you'll oh, never She's like come. a newborn. She don't know anything. I promise. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. Forever. Now this is my mission. You know? Now I gotta... All of my decisions have to be influenced by this promise. Because I promised her. If she dies, I die. I have to. Or if I die, she has to die. <laughs> no, but... But yeah. Oh, yeah, mami, ya tiene que dormir. Yeah, you got a blanket. Oh, that's so cute. Can, does she sleep? Is that something she does? Yeah, I want Alice to like me. Wow, there's a lot of ways I could've went. Wow. Wow, okay, okay. Four different ways I could've gone. But I think I'm happy with the way it turned out. I don't know what else there is, honestly, so. There's a lot of different choices that I could've went, though. Is this Marcus? Is he dead? Where am I? Ah! Am I in the scrap? I'm in the scrapyard. Why is it raining? Dang, so they just blicked me and then got away. Like, just they threw me away after that. They didn't even want to try to repair me. Dang, was Carl like, bro, I don't want him. Corrupted processor. Here we go. Optical unit impaired. Left and right leg components? They cut my legs off? Bro. That's out of pocket. That's gotta be a crime. All systems in low power mode. Defective. Oh, my heart. Oh, so I'm dying, dying. Yeah, let me go. He looks like Vision right now. How is that? Compatible. Yeah, put that on, bruh. Ugh, take your leg off. That'd be kind of fun if I had to, uh, if I, if I could just take my leg off and just replace it with a new one. Nice. Fetch compatible leg. I got another one. Analyze. Incompatible. Ah! Wait, get out of here, bruh. Nobody wants you. Oh no, my brother. Let's 
compatible. Yeah, take it. Put it on, man. Ah. Replace legs. Stand up. Hey, you good, bro? You good? Oh, this is creepy. What's up, brother? Dab me up. Dab me up, brother. You. Can Uh, I knew he was gonna get me. Jericho? Oh, is that that one trash guy was telling me about? Y'all know the story of Jericho, right? Don't tell me. That. Oh, he has to go through the arms. Oh, he has to go through the arms. He has to go through the arms. Bro, he has to go through the arms. <laughs> he has to go through the arms, bro. Oh, oh, oh! I'm going home, bruh! Oh my gosh. Do I have to take apart my brothers and sisters for this? Oh. End it. You don't want to live anymore? Alright, bro, I got you. Say a prayer. Say a prayer! Maybe that was heartless. Get it, because he just took out his heart. Anyways. Hey, bro! Dang! I mean, I killed, I killed, so I killed that guy, because we're already taking apart other dead bodies. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't see where, morally, the line is drawn. We're picking, we're basically grave robbing right now. That one's good, bro. Yeah! What'd I tell you? So your heart's pumping, you just... Too dead to walk around? Hey, give me that. Take your own heart out. It's gonna be tough. I gotta. Oh, quick, 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 Give me your ear, bruh. Huh? What's that? Is that an ear? Oh, that noise is terrible. He sounds bad out here. Yo, brother. Hey, spare me your eye, bro. Yeah. Give me your eye, fool. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? You can give me your eye. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest CyberLife maintenance center. So some of them like have personality a little bit, but some of them are like lifeless like that. I don't get it. Yeah, I gotta climb the slope. Do you know what I mean? Like that guy was very robotic. Connor, he's kind of robotic, but also he's he has a little bit of instability to him because of me. But like, there's some robots that are just like just robotic as anything. And then there's people like Marcus, they have personality. Uh, even before he broke his programming. So I wonder if, if that's like, does it just come with the territory, or is it like... Come on, Marcus. I keep calling him Marcus, is his name Marcus? I think it's just Mark. I could be wrong on both, both ends. Come on, Mark! 
So he's just free? Like, ain't nobody, like, guarding him? Because you just, you got a bunch of, like, robots. Ah, he should have got his painting. that is that a knife it's a rock knife oh. what am I ripping off why did I rip that off am I invisible now am I just a human did I just become human did I just become human? Bro. My name is Marcus. It is Marcus. I knew it. Oh, shoot, bruh. That, okay. But that jacket goes hard. I feel like that was the birth of something crazy. Uh, why is there different ways that... What if I didn't kill him? I guess this, 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 this game doesn't matter. All right, next one. November 6th. So this is the same day that he uh, interrogated that guy. Hello, Amanda. Trusted. Connor, it's good to see you. What's going on, Amanda? Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. Thanks, man. Not You've been hey, man. Look. Connor. Oh, shoot. Thank you. Mega Amanda. jump. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. I wonder if I would have not died on that mission, she would have mentioned it. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? I think he's silly, bruh. I think that he's traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. That's what happened. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Lieutenant Anderson is... Mm, I'm not sure yet. He's obviously not what I was expecting. But he's I don't cool. have enough information yet to form a definitive opinion. You know, but he's... Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? To what? The best approach to what? Uh, to adapt. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest what? of the invest <laughs> investigation. What? What did I say? To accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in search. Oh, she doesn't want me to be deviant. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. Try it. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. You can't count on me, Amanda. I'm deviant. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Okay, so Connor is not technically deviant yet. So I feel like I have to kind of go with the program, the mission, you know what I mean? Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. See, like, she has personality. Do you have authorization? She's not just like, yes. hello, welcome to... Uh, can I get, please? <laughs> Dang, alright. Lieutenant Maybe Anderson like hasn't that. arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Alright, come through. Hey. Take a look at these samples yet? Okay, okay. I can look around. The lab report says they cut into something. casualties to either side. Oh, wait, 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 I can talk. Po Miller. Po Miller. Hey, Po Miller. Police officer. Not Po. Stupid. Is this deviancy? Go see Deviant. Listen. What you got playing, bruh? What kind of music you be listening to? Oh, you're collecting data. Knights of the Black Death. 
That's awesome. What a great name. Why'd that guy disappear for a second? Did you see that? I, I want to read all of these because I want to. I feel like I want to get to know what's going on in the world of in Detroit. <laughs> Detroit today. The the three laws of robotic parenting. What? They're making it robot babies now. Is that what's going on? Life, family life has never been easier. When CyberLife initially released their child range, the public were skeptical of purchasing a family. Now the collection of now the collection is one of CyberLife's best sellers. But is this really a surprise? Customizable, removable LED, no hunger, no expensive childcare, no new clothes, not to mention no smelly diapers. The child, sorry, the perfect child is one click away. It's, I can't read. The, the perfect child is only a click away. All it needs. All its needs can be suspended at the touch of a button. It's child's play. Uh, it's the stress free sit. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. It's the stress free solution for career oriented parents, those struggling to have their own children or miss having a youngster at home. What is the point of this at all? With unemployment at 37.3, $7.500 for a child that avoids the dreaded teenage years and shelling out for college. Seems like a wise investment compared to $350,000 over 17 years. Plus, it doesn't have to be a lifelong commitment. That is crazy. But sociologist Mary Wallace argues that these androids are leading fewer parents to have children at the time uh, when our birth rates are already far too low contributing to what seems to be the baby doom so we ain't just have we just not having children now jason graff director of humanization at cyber life dismisses these claims as usual resistance to new ideas uh calling these new androids a triumph of humanization design now nah, brah this is literally the doom of human race uh, Ivanov says, Nyet. Russian president responds to Warren's warning. Following President Warren's demand that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic immediately, President Ivanov of Russia has issued a response. <laughs> he said, Nyet. Ivanov branded Warren's comments as a megaphone diplomacy and said, U.S. saber rattling is the number one threat to stability in the region. The Kremlin produced... The Kremlin? The Kremlin produced a detailed statement outlining Russia's claim to the territory, and Ivanov said that he would... Remind President Warren that the United States is subject to the UN conventions like everybody else. The conflict sh shows no signs of abating, so there might be like a World War IV. I shouldn't say that. Shouldn't say it like that. Is Anderson here yet? Nah, he not. Oh, wow, okay, there's a lot of things. So, he likes Detroit basketball. He likes donuts. He is drinking coffee, old coffee. That's just a cup. He is dead plant. <laughs> hey, I have one of those. How could you let it die? Uh, he has a dog. He smokes, I guess. We don't bleed the same color. Anti-Android slogans. This is a little picture. Red Ice Task Force. Oh, they're the, the crack busters. Uh, so they're busting crackheads. Gotcha. Detroit police dismantle a network of Red Ice dealers. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing Red Ice epidemic. With a number of high-profile detailers and suppliers now behind bars and narcotics seized with a street value of $500,000. Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, is said to have been an instrumental uh, in the operation, which took months of planning. The DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as a model investigative police work. Detective Anderson promoted to rank of lieutenant, becoming youngest lieutenant on Detroit police force. Lieutenant Hank Anderson was among the most decorated detectives in DB DPD's recent history, securing a number of high-profile arrests and serving as an integral member of the force. Captain Fowler said the promotion was long overdue, describing Anderson as among the most talented police I've ever worked with. The new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly through the ranks of the department and is already being tipped as a future commissioner. Wow, So, but he's still a lieutenant. So something must have happened. New record seizure of red ice in Detroit. Nearly a ton of red ice discovered 
in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Astrin Anderson and of the Detroit Police Force. Interesting. He was. But he's not it's anyone. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hank! In my office! Dang. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. Dang, so... But now, it's really... we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Uh, Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. <laughs> Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate Dang. these fucking androids, and you left me holding the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Dang, but I thought we were Hank, cool. you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. Yeah. You know what goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. Man, he be acting up. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitching. Dang. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Ooh. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Yeah, work. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I'm rooting against Anderson right now. Uh, can I say something? I'll leave. Well then, I won't keep you. You didn't have to say a single thing. Have a nice day, Captain. I was just trying to listen. I guess, I guess he did say have a nice day. He's being nice. All right, check on Hank. I want to see the Deviant real quick. Archive room. Uh, there's the Deviant. Hey, buddy! What was your name again? He's gonna bang on the glass, watch. They're going to destroy me. Are they really? It's probable. That's not the approach I wanted to go for. They have to analyze your bio components. They need to understand what happened. I guess that's... I mean, I would have said that. I know there's something you didn't tell me. If I was gone. <laughs> I need to know before they take you away. I didn't even know this. Secret. What you said yesterday. The truth is inside. What does it mean? I only get one of those. No! I mean, either way, you was gonna die, you know what I'm saying? At least you helping me out. Is this head shaved? I just realized that. Uh, well, uh, can I unlock this? No. Dang, man. I just, I realized halfway that I was gonna get, get one of those. Open the cell, quick! Hurry! Hey, bro. What are we doing? Oh, did he, did he just kill himself? I'll call Cyberlife. <laughs> Look at me in the background. Right? Clean this mess up. Hey, 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 hey. Did he just kill himself for real? Anyways, Connor has more important business to take care of. Let's go check on Hank. Um. Constructive. It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Not the smile. <laughs> Not the smile. Uh, partners. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very I have happy a locked to be one. working with you. That sucks. I'm sure we'll make a great team. 
Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Hey, my brother. We partners for real. I can look at you across the desk, bro. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> got them all. So, you like basketball. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Man, I should have waited for him then. Alright, uh, so your music. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such. But I'd like to. He's like, oh, the heck? You have a dog, right? How do you know that? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. How do you know that, brother? I like dogs. What's your dog's name? Why is he treating What's him like a priest preschooler right now? Sumo. Sumo. I call him Sumo. Solid name. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Take a look at these samples yet? There they go about the samples in the background. You hear them? There is one. Uh, so two of those questions I shouldn't have asked is what I'm getting, Fowler. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. <laughs> Dang, man. He gave you your promotion, though. I was wondering, do you always You know, sometimes it's not good to talk so much. I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? I'm just a robot, bro. All right. If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Damn. All right. Dude, I'm literally just a robot. I don't know what to tell you. Case reference is a disappearance. Uh, Gordon Lopez. Lieutenant Anderson. Case status is open. It does involve an android. The plaintiff reports that he left his android at home, as usual, when he went to work. When he returned, the android was nowhere to be found, no trace of a break-in. Android may have left the home without being able to. Okay. Uh, the plaintiff claims to have been attacked by model android working as a waiter in the fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain situated on their Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff claims that the android lunged at him unexplainably and attempted to strangle the man. We're leaving the scene. The android remains at large. The plaintiff claims they've been attacked by an android, an AP700 model. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Taking flight? This Cyberlife company is crazy. Like they have androids for literally everything. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. So that android is being abused for sure. 243 oh, files. Oh, he just scanned all of them. First Why didn't I get to read all of them? Months. <laughs> it all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. Detroit? An AX400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Is that Kara? That's Kara. That's Kara. He's like, come on, bruh. Be direct. You shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. You're right. So I don't you know what I'm talking about. Your program and shut the fuck up. Let's be determined. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Facts. Facts. We're here to do a job, bruh. We're here to do a job. Oh, oh you're gonna hit me. Asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a Maybe I should to get the hang to like it. <laughs> Maybe I should get hang to like it. are gonna get nasty. Hello, Lieutenant. I'm sorry to disturb you. 
I have some information on the AX400 that killed the guy last night. That's Kara. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. Ravendale? I'm on it. You really need the forensics. <clears throat> what if Hank doesn't like me? Does that? I feel like that has major consequences. Hank got a lead. Hank is mad. Oh, so Hank is mad regardless. Alright, I think that's a good place to, uh... To lead it. I just want to take a look at this real quick. To, uh, to lead it. To leave it. Uh, right, did all that. Talk with Carlos. Carlos is Android. Carlos is Android self-destructs. Uh, that unlocks something, I guess. What was the other option? Hank got a lead or Hank... What's the... Distinction between those? Yeah, I feel like this is good. Good little episode. Dang, so they're all like free now. That's gonna be crazy. When they, uh, get a, another, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. That's it. I'm, I'm off. I'm, I'm out of here.